Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time I'm going to show you how to fix this problem when there is no surface to trace uh, underneath the character my IK system breaks like this so as you can see now the character is gone and only when I am back in the surface it's there so like this so let's first fix that problem all right so I'll go to my blue animation blueprint and there I do this trace ground function and using that function I calc the output of that function I'll cal I calculate this uh, hip displacement and I'm gonna do a slight modification to this function like this so when I when there is uh, this, when this return value falls that means we didn't hit any surface in the tracing so for the result of that I should return the same head location and for the out head normal I'm gonna output this so Z uh, plus 1 and others are 0 that means it's the up vector so yeah I got rid of this part last time yeah now now that problem should be fixed let's check okay yeah so just like that I can fall down from the cliff and when there is uh, when there is nothing to trace below the character doesn't uh, disappear this time and still my IK functions are working perfectly okay and the next problem I'm going to solve is jumping so as you can see here when I jump you see this odd behavior like this it's not like before so what should I do is when I jump I should disable IK altogether so how can I do that well here when I calculate the foot IK and hip displacement I think I need to have another variable uh, something like IK enabled and I should take that into account when I update these variables so let's define a new variable called ik enabled oops and where do I jump Yeah, when I jump actually I call the jump in function with a montage so it's it should be here let me check yeah here and this is the, the jump montage this one so well I think I need a function in my blueprint animation blueprint to toggle IK so I'll define that 
here as a in my blueprint animation interface this one BPI character animation toggle IK and I should have an boolean input to enable and disable all right now in my event graph yeah I'll define that this is not a notific notifier so do I have another event graph for such things no yeah but I have this one okay toggle crouch and I think this should go on in this notifier graph that's uh, something I should have done before that's just the organization thing you don't have to worry about that okay now in the event graph toggle IK and set this variable is in the one we get right now I'll use that variable here yeah when I calculate the hip displacement I am not using a lerp so I'll define a lerp for this one as well because otherwise I will have sudden changes that will result sudden hip location changes and kind of a jagged non-smooth variations in my character's height character's location so I'll add a lerp like this and I should multiply this one well yeah why don't why shouldn't we change this to a float so that uh, I can directly multiply that like this and I should change the name as well let's call it instead of IK enabled let's call it IK multiplier right and I should do the same for these two Well, why shouldn't I convert this to a macro? Okay, so I can use that here. and here like this right so what's next uh, right I had forgot about this one so here I can select like this when it is true it should be 1 when it is false it should be 0 and why is this uh, okay right now now I should um, call that function when I start jump 
and where should I actually actually uh, yeah let's check this jump montage and here we have two parts actually three parts the jump start part and the loop in part and the landed part so I'll add a notifier here as uh, well I did define uh, an interface method here but uh, I only need this one when I'm calling this BPA human from this character blueprint or somewhere else but for in order to call it here I need an event so yeah that part is redundant for now but I need this one when I am dealing with the problems that we will have with the combats and attacking and everything so for now it's about only jumping so right back to here I'll add a notify well we need a new notifier disable IK well right disable IK yeah and here at the end I need another notifier new one actually enable IK okay now I'll save this one and go here and in the notifiers graph disable IK and enable IK yeah this is still useful, useful this one so here I'll call toggle IK with a false and here I'll call that toggle IK with a true and compile let's check how it works okay my IKs are fine they are working as before and let's jump right now the jagged uh, now the problems with the jumping are gone as you can see and you might notice that this uh, IK adjusting time is a little bit too much as you can see the foot stays a little longer in the submerged in the ground so we can speed up that here I don't think I have to show this but I'll just show you and anyway. I'll show it anyway yeah so we can make it a little larger the alpha value let's put 0.3 and quickly check back right that's better okay what should we fix next when we attack <laughs> they are okay I think and do we have any problems when we run I don't see anything wrong with the IKs and running just uh, let me know if you have any problems such problems with running and IKs and yeah I think we can stop for today at this point and yeah I'm quite happy with this IK system I don't think we have any more bugs with that 
but if we have any other bugs let's fix them in the future episodes all right so i'll stop the video for today and tomorrow i think i should get back to horse and work start working on horse ik system and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me that means a quiet a lot to me and if you like to support my work you can go to patreon.com code like me i'll put the link in the description below and there you can join my patreon club and depending on the membership you tier you join you will have different privileges as i have explained in this site so and also i i will put the updated project files into my patreon.com as well feel free to check that and right see you in the next episode goodbye